Plunk. 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 Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I was too busy playing this really fun game. So what makes a game fun? A player? A complex battle system with enemies? Maybe an entertaining storyline? Oh, also achievements and leveling up. Well, the game we're playing today has none of those things, and it's called... Townscaper. If Townscaper has none of those attributes, then surely no one has played it, right? Technically, the dev wants it to be called a toy, rather than a game, because it has no goal or player. That being said, I have spent my fair share of time in Townscaper. Townscaper effectively has two buttons, click to add and right click to delete. Where the magic really happens is within all the algorithms that determine how the game should adapt as you modify your buildings. Today, I wanted to sort of make a tribute to Townscaper because I love the game, sorry, toy, very much. Of course, the link for it is in the description. If we go to this directory, we can find three files. Towncolor.png is the texture file. Townmaterial.png deals with all the lighting and material properties. And Town Palette is a 16x2 file that determines the 15 house colors to choose from. This was made to be easily modifiable. Oscar has said that you can modify all the textures freely. And if you want to reset the textures, all you need to do is delete the files and they will be recreated when the game next starts up. Whilst the texture might be an optimized mess, you'll notice that it's pixel art. Hey, I can do pixel art. Today I want to try my luck at making three unique Townscaper texture packs. I started on a winter rendition of the town, deciding on snow-covered roofs and wood for the structural elements. I ran into two main challenges across this process. The first being that this isn't really pixel art. The game will stretch every even pixel into the low poly shape that it needs, and use every odd pixel as the outline color meaning that sometimes a pixel on the texture file would be a massive brick, and sometimes it would be the tiniest line. Also, it was difficult to know what pixel correlated with each surface in-game, so I spent a lot of time using trial and error to figure out the part of the texture I needed. That being said, I think the winter edition worked out quite nicely. Some of my favorite details are the wooden boardings, the snow-covered letterboxes, and this nice red door. Then we've got the seaside version, which is probably my favorite texture pack out of the three. I didn't do anything too dramatic, but the mossy roofs and green algae instead of sand gave it a nice maritime feel. Finally, I worked on an industrial texture pack. I used the spacing to my advantage by placing pixels in the odd areas. This meant that the game would squash them into dots, which looked like rivets. One of my favorite details are these vent things. There were definitely restrictions, but it was nice to do something simple like Townscaper for a change. I really like the toy, so I've always wanted to make a video about it. If you already have Townscaper, and you want to download these texture packs, I've got them free for you in the description. They're not perfect, but it might be something fun to mess around with for a short while anyway. 